Hey everyone, Ben with bensolens.com. Today's Tableau tip comes to you from Shed Quarters. It's not done yet, but it's a much more quiet place to record than inside my house where my eight month old son is learning to test his lungs. And uh, what we're gonna talk about today is how to use a parameter for conditional formatting. So last week we hand coded some values into our conditional formatting rules. If it's greater than this, then red. If it's below this, then blue, etc. Now what we're gonna do is make that more dynamic. And we're gonna use a parameter. So if you've not used parameters, I'll, I'll make sure to cover that for you. And the idea here, why you would do this, is because often, and you've probably witnessed this, your users are gonna want changes to what you've built for them. Surprise, surprise. So this is a way where you can make a quick turnaround, win a lot of points, or if your users are so inclined, you could even give them the control to do it themselves. So let's dive in here. All right, so here I am in Tableau, and the first step I'm gonna do is just connect to some data. I'm gonna choose Superstore, and we get the basic data set that we use for a lot of demos here. Now the viz we had before had segment on top, and subcategory on rows. And we dragged profit ratio over to the text there so we could just see the numbers. Now what we wanted to do was color by a certain KPI, a rules-based conditional formatting. So I'm just gonna create that field again, color format. And in here, it doesn't matter what I put right now, I'm gonna say if profit ratio is less than 0 0.15, then red, else if profit ratio greater than 0 0.4, then blue, else black. And we'll just end that there. Cool, so we've got our basic color format field. We can drag that onto the color shelf, just like last time, reassign the colors as we want. So black, I'll choose more of a true black here. Blue, we'll go with this guy, and red, we'll go with this guy. So we have something here that uses our logic. It takes our conditional formatting rules and applies them to the color, simple enough. Now though, our users came back and they wanted to change. They no longer wanted it to be 0.4, they wanted it to be a little less than that, 0.35, and they wanted to see how things were different. So now what I can do, and this is how you use all parameters, the first thing I do is I create the parameter. So here I'm gonna say min color. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna use float, I could use other data types, but I'm just gonna use float here. And so the min color for the red right now was 0.15. I'm gonna just leave it at that. And I'm gonna change the display to be a percentage. So it looks something like our users would recognize. Now I can set up a range where users can have a minimum and maximum, or I can just leave it as all. So for now, I'll just leave it as all. Okay, so we've got our min color. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and edit this. I'm gonna call this our max color. Simple enough, so this will obviously be the top one, which I believe we set at 0.4, and we'll hit okay. So these are just basically agnostic of our data set. There are two fields, parameters, that we can use in calculations and in other places. I could even drag them on and use them to add a reference line or something like that. So I'm gonna edit my color format now. Here's where we're gonna use the parameters. Where I have my hard-coded value of 0.15, I'm just gonna start typing min color. Notice that it's purple. That indicates that it's a parameter. And for the other one, I'm gonna say max color. Good to go. So now I've got my parameters in my calc, and all the logic is still basically the same with the exception of those values. I'm gonna hit apply, and now notice that the viz really didn't change that much. That's good, that means that it's working. So what I can do now, I can expose these. I can say show parameter control, show parameter control, and I can have the values displayed here. So if I wanted to change something here, if I wanted to say make this 0.1 and hit enter, you can see that a couple of the values changed here. So if I were to make this 0.5, you can see everything is red. Let's take it back to 0.15. And for the same with this guy, I can make this 
You can see a few more of them went, went blue there. So that's the simplest way to use parameters to add conditional formatting to your viz. And I could leave it, I could publish this for my users where they could punch in whatever numbers they want. If you have users that are interested in doing this, it's great because then they don't have to wait for you. They don't have to ask anyone. It's kind of the definition of self-service. So that would be my best recommendation, but I know that not everyone has users that are so inclined or you don't necessarily want to give them. Maybe these colors are set by some governing body or something, so that's fine. You can still use these and then you can just hide these. I'll hide the card and I'll hide the card. Now you can use them for your own purposes. I do this a lot where I have a lot of parameters. Anytime I would normally hard code something, I often will create a parameter. Even if I'm not gonna change it, just in case I ever do, I can just go change the parameter and I don't have to get into the weeds of how the calculations work. I hope you've enjoyed this Tableau tip and go ahead and click subscribe down below. I'm gonna post a new one every Tuesday as well as I'm gonna be posting things on Microsoft Excel and SQL. See you soon.